Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into my review and flip through of the brand new LEGO DC Super Heroes Character Encyclopedia New Edition. This comes with the exclusive Val Zod Earth 2 Superman figure and if I'm reading this correctly going off of Amazon uh, in Canada, this is going to be available going off of Amazon.com in the US. This will be available for $21.99 USD and then in Canada for $28.70. And anyways, the release date is actually June the 7th. However, it was meant to release on May 17th here, but then it's been delayed, I guess. Also, this appeared early in the UK for some reason. I'm not sure why, but that is actually where I got my copy from. I imported this from Amazon in the UK. So anyways, uh, we're going to take a look at the figure when we get to him in the book. I'm not quite sure where, but uh, we've done this before and uh, we will open that up to, I'll show you that it's a new tab system. You can't see the figure anymore up in the top. So I think that's interesting. I think that it's more for security measures, so I don't really have a problem. If you want to pause, you could read. I think it's really interesting some of the characters here that they're choosing to uh showcase especially like look at this like this is an old suit it's not even the last one that we got so anyways we've got 1966 catwoman here on the character encyclopedia page for some reason all the different chapters this one is going to be the uh most interesting i think when we get to there so starting things off we got superman and friends Cool. So they're acknowledging DC. Love it. Uh, we've got Cosmic Boy, which appeared in a poly bag. Again, I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work, how the, the layout is, but we've got Clark Kent, Superman, the very first appearance here. Got the Mighty Micro there, and then a couple of different outfits. We've got the Man Steel one, the SDCC one in the black suit, the minifigure series. Uh, that's either Justice League or Batman v Superman, and uh, this is the last Superman that we would have gotten in sets. Lois Lane, if you didn't know, we actually do have technically figures of her, but nothing uh, besides movie versions, which is a bit of a shame. I'd love to get a comic book version. Interesting that they have a page for jor -El. This was a polybag promo. Uh, if you didn't know, again, interesting. Like, I like that, you know, they're sort of educating you if you want to pause and read. Uh, but I I'll vocalize it where some of these figures are from. We got Colonel Hardy from uh, Man of Steel and Supergirl, as well as the raffle one uh, from the CW show. Cool that they included that. So it's pretty current. And you'll see there's the Batman, which is our last uh, DC set. So Superboy Target exclusive here. Um, do they mention that at all? They have a set number, but I don't uh, I, I guess they probably don't want to name drop any shops like that exclusive um same with lightning lad was the same those little cubes and we have cosmic boy here uh another uh this was a promo for a movie and then this is valzad let's go ahead and let's open this up all right we're here let's try i don't want to ruin this like i don't want to damage the book there we go so maybe this isn't safer <laughs> or a more secure way all right, so everything's just loose inside here. All right, here is the Val Zod minifigure. And I don't think this is a surprise, but it's not dual molded legs. Would have been awesome, but again, it's a book, so you can't really expect it. But boy, it does not look good for there from the side. However, like, crazy that we're even getting him. I, I'm glad that they're dipping into, like, Earth 2 characters and stuff like that. I think that's really fun. Uh, anyways, I love the logo there, the Superman logo. This is a brand new face, I believe, for him. However, with Tom Riddle... That face from that Harry Potter book was later used in a set, so I wouldn't be surprised if this face appears in other sets. There is no back head printing because it's using the Falcon hair there from the uh, Marvel minifigure series from last year. The cape is a 4 plus cape, unfortunately, which means that it's got that arch, but the back torso printing is just as detailed as the front one. I really love how that continues there from the front. All right, welcome on back. Let's keep on going here. Now we're moving on into the Superman's enemies. So he's got a whole chapter. That's pretty cool. We've got Lex Luthor, everyone's favorite Lex Luthor, Jesse Eisenberg. And uh, we got the mech here, the classic 2012 mech. A couple of different versions here of Lex. And then we have the uh, the promo that was when you pre-order LEGO DC Supervillains. Really great figure, just not who I would have liked to see for that. General Zod, cool, cool, cool. We have Feora and Torian, different people from Man of Steel. 
Lobo, awesome to see, of course. And Braniac, are they going to do something for Doomsday? Nope. <laughs> the Doomsday and, and Bizarro. That's interesting. Uh, I, I flipped through. I know they're in here, but interesting that they didn't include them up here. We've got the Heroes of Gotham City. Again, very curious to see how they're going to... That makes no sense at all. How they're going to handle... Uh, that also makes no sense because that's both Dick Grayson. Anyways, <laughs> we have the 2012 Bruce Wayne as well as some 2006 stuff uh, scattered throughout here. So we've got the little transformation thing there at the bottom, which isn't the best transformation, but it, it's still cool. We have a review of that up on the channel um, as well as the 1966 Adam West Bruce Wayne. Is there anything? Okay, we're still going. We got Bruce Wayne here uh, from the last Batcave set that we got. And then also the Lego Batman movie. I guess not technically the last Batcave set because there's this. Um, this is the Drifter Batman from the Batman. Alfred's here. We've got the 1966 one. We have the Lego Batman movie one as well as the one Frozen in Ice from 2006. <laughs> we have the... Uh, is that what his name was? The Gentleman's Gentleman? No, I don't think he had necessarily a name, but we've also got him wearing the 1966 outfit. Andy Serkis is Alfred. And then now we're into Batman. My favorite minifigure of all time here is the classic black Batman suit from 2006. Uh, they talk about... Uh, da -da -da, okay, the 2005 SCCC. I thought they were talking about the other one. We have here uh, the Lego Batman movie in the bottom. Really should have his own spread since he has his own movie. Um, but uh, the latest 1966 one, we've got the old one from the Batcave. We have a couple of, we got the movie one here. We've got the demon one there from Batman Begins that we just got last year. And Beware the Batman. Um, just, uh, yeah, interesting. We've got the first appearance one, which is awesome. Something about the Bat Tank. This was a promo from a book. And then we have the BVS Armored Batman the Arctic Batman, the Desert Batman, and then we've also got the Hazbat suit, which is a really cool looking suit. Again, we have a video actually looking at most of these, except for some of the more recent ones in a whole compilation. A couple of the Jetpack ones, Scuba ones. Wow, there's quite a lot. And we got the Pirate one that also came in a book. SDCC exclusive. This was exclusive to Joker Manor. This was a poly bag. How many? Okay, they're really going to dive into the Lego Batman movie suits. Uh, this was a DVD promo. This was another book promo. Actually, the first, this, this is the public, the first ever public video here on the channel talking about that uh, book. Uh, some bag or something from the Lego Batman movie and of course the Batman suit. So they skipped out on a lot of Lego Batman movie ones like this whole book could probably be filled with that. Um, however, we got Dick Grayson here. Okay, they are going to acknowledge the Lego Batman movie. Cool, with uh, the different suits from, like, the Scuddler. And uh, there's so many of these with different faces, but, of course, they're not going to cover that. Then we continue here with Dick Grayson from the 1966 show, as well as Teen Titans. And still, they said that this one's still Dick Grayson, which... I don't recall. I think, it, yeah, I guess it, it is. Because I just know that this one specifically is Jason Todd. This was from a 4 Plus set. The only time we've ever gotten that... And uh, we got a little Mighty Micro, which is not. He takes new boy Jason Todd under his wing and transforms him. I don't... Oh, that has to do with this. Sorry, I was misreading it. But uh, interesting. I don't think that that was Jason Todd. Never took it as that. We have the classic Robin, which was Tim Drake back in 2006. Because, of course, we had Nightwing, which I'm assuming... Yes, good. Uh, we have Damian Wayne's Robin there. As well as Nightwing. This came in a movie. And then this was in a set. And, and the Nightwing from the Lego Batman movie Mighty Micro. Which I forgot was a thing. And this is the first ever one in 2006 or seven. And then this one here is... Uh, I think that might have been at the end of the year of 2006. Anyways, this is the last Nightwing. Incredible figure. The Kamish. Gordo. Uh, looks awesome here. We've got the Batman, uh, the Dark Knight rises one we've got the one that came in the last uh like comic book sort of wave and then also the one from uh the last one jeffrey wright uh in the batman and oh the lego batman movie one has his own page it's interesting that they're not in chronological order of like you know appearances movie wise and stuff it, it's fine uh anyways barbara gordon here the only figures of barbara gordon that we have is from the lego batman movie and then, when I mean Barbara Gordon, not Batgirl, but we've got her here. Again, ton of different suits across all the different sets. The very first Batgirl figure that we ever got down there in the bottom right, as well as this is the last one that came in a 4-plus set as well last year. Batwoman has her own spread. That's cool. And then here we're getting into the Gotham goodies. Interesting. I don't know if I would consider Batmite, again, 
controversial. I know that back when this minifigure series came out, I said he was a villain, and I stand by that. Um, anyways, we got Vicky Vale, her only appearance being in the uh, 1989 movie, and then we also have here Blue Beetle. Just realized they didn't have anything for a 1989 Batman, despite him having two uh, DTCs. All right, we got to keep going here. Flipping through, we've got a Joker spread, of course. We've got a whole spread for the 1989 one. His very first appearance in 2006. And the Heath Ledger ones uh, from the different years. <laughs> we've got uh, Lawrence there, which is awesome. And that beautiful mime suit. 1966 outfits here, the two ones that we've gotten. And then we've got the Lego Batman movie. Okay, jumpsuit's got his own paint. I love the color schemes, by the way. I don't think I've mentioned that. Like the pink with this looks awesome from the Dark Knight uh right returns dark knight returns and we've got from joker manor we've got a few of the goons here that have their own pages love it catwoman starting off with 1966 again for some reason love this figure probably the best Catwoman we've ever gotten and we had the first appearance one uh right here as well back in 2006 now uh, this is from the lego batman movie and of all right sorry the max recording time ran out on my phone we have uh selena here from the batman and we're moving on to the penguin uh no mention of the 2006 one so far here. We've got, I think this is the 1966 one. This is the first one from DC Superheroes. Okay, there we go. Should have been on the first page, but we've got the last Penguin that we got, uh, minus, of course, if I flip, I'm assuming he's here. Yes, we have uh, the Batman Penguin. And uh, we've got the Kabuki Twins from the Lego Batman movie. Riddler's here, of course. He's got to be here. Come on, show me the classic one. There he is at the very bottom there. Uh, this is the first set that came with the Flash. We've got the Riddler, of course, from... He's a questionable ha -ha, criminal uh, from the Batman. Doc, the infamous Harley Quinn is here. She's got her own spread here, of course. And uh, Harley there, her first appearance in 2008. And all of the ones that have since appeared in sets, even uh, from that Teen Titans set. And the last version here that we got uh, last year. And it appeared from a set from the year before. Anyway, Scarecrow, we've got the classic one there from the first Arkham Asylum, as well as the uh, also first Arkham Asylum from DC Superheroes. We've got the Lego Batman movie, the one that came last year from Batman Begins. Poison Ivy, we got the first one from 2006's Arkham Asylum, and uh, probably one of the most uh, amazingly detailed and beautiful minifigures of all time there. The, the figure here that, that started the channel and my love for DC superheroes, this Two-Face uh, wouldn't be here without uh, that set. And uh, glad that he's got his own complete spread. Love it. Of course, it's the only one that we've gotten in, in white and black as well, which I love from Batman the Animated Series. We have the first one from 2012 when the wave reappeared. We've got the Billy D. Williams there. One. And then we've got Goons, which should be combined and giving Billy D. Williams his own spread. Like, that whole figure is so detailed with the suit, and it doesn't even appear here at all. Uh, anyways, we have here the Two-Face, the last one that we got, which I really love the coloring there for that hairpiece. Mr. Freeze has his own spread there, again, from 2006, that outfit. Really cool one. This is from a 4 Plus one. Love that. This is from the Lego Batman movie. That's from 2013. And then this is the last Mr. Freeze that we got. Bane here, does he feature his first appearance? We've got the 2012 version and the Mighty Micro, and it doesn't look like he's got anything for his 2007 appearance. So, bit of a shame there. Again, don't like that they're giving goons pages, but not Bane his uh, his full right that he should. He, he broke the Batman! Anyways, uh, we have your Raish Al Ghul, Raz Al Ghul, Raish Al Ghul, however you say it. Love that, should have shown his other face. We've got Talia on the other side. And I'm sure just a ton of Lego Batman movie villains here. Oh my goodness. Calendar Man and the Condiment King. <laughs> uh, Scarecrow's got his own little uh, pizza delivery outfit here. Egghead. Awesome. Killer Croc here from 2006. And we've got the Lego Batman movie one. And then the awesome one from the Suicide Squad tie-ins. Captain Boomerangs here. Deathstroke Deadshot. Love, love, love. Uh, all of those figures. Firefly as well. Very first piece to be using that helmet. We've got the Talons from the Court of Owls. I really want the Court of Owls to come back in sets. The Omac virus. Is Brother I referenced here at all? We've got Killer Moth. It doesn't look like he is. Interesting. He should have been in that picture. Uh, we've got Killer Moth here and the Mighty Micro one. Again, there's a few other versions of him. The last version of Man Bat uh, from 20... 20? 2019? Anyways, that summer. All the years coven and everything it's all blending together we've got the first appearance of man bat we've also got bronze tiger from that very same set 
And okay, we're going into uh, the heroes now, the DC superheroes. Starting off with the Flash, the way to do it. Got the reverse Flash down there. Love it, Barry Allen here. Oh my goodness, uh, none of the first, oh, there's the first figure there. Jay Garrick's Flash here from the minifigure series, and then the Mighty Micro. Aquaman, of course, has to be featured there with the first appearance, Frozen in Ice. And then we've got the movie version as well as the one from the minifigure series. Mira, we'll just skip on over her. <laughs> Hawkman and uh, Hawkgirl. They're uh, really great uh, that they went back and did Hawkgirl in the Lego Batman movie. We've got Green Lantern, which technically first appeared here from uh, this exclusive given out at SDCC in 2011 when they announced that the wave or the theme was coming back. Jon Stewart first appeared in a book. She, Jessica Cruz, who doesn't have her own page, should have her own page. Uh, she actually appeared in a movie recently and then was also like a giveaway or something, I remember. I think at some convention. We have uh, Simon Baz, minifigure series, Green Arrow, which was also a dimension in a dimension set. Does that mention anything here? I don't. It's just quickly scanning. I don't think it does. Anyways, we've got Green Arrow here from the Lego Batman movie, and then they don't show the full SDCC one. That's such a shame. That That's a cool-looking figure, but they just show the mask there. Martian Manhunter, really awesome. More like Martian Dance Hunter. <laughs> Sorry, can't tell mind. We've got the uh, one that was a promo back in the day. Plastic Man, amazing figure, was a giveaway, a pre-order exclusive with the Lego Batman 3. The video game, Firestorm. Oh my goodness, still can't believe some of the characters we've gotten. Adam here, SDCC exclusive. Arsenal, SDC exclusive. Black Lightning, SDC exclusive. We got Mr. Miracle and Stargirl from the uh, the Lego DC minifigure series. Oh, we're continuing here with Huntress and Metamorpho. And then we've got Shazam. And we've got the SDCC first ex appearance one, the, the first ever. When I say first appearance, by the way, I should have clarified, in Lego form. Uh, I know that could be confusing. Anyways, they don't really show the lightning eyes, which they should in one of these pictures, but you could kind of see it there. Um, the only variant there is the hood. Hopefully we get Shazam sets uh, later on this year. Got Wonder Woman here, her very first Lego appearance, and then her first appearance one as well. And the Mighty Micro. And then this came in a book. And da, 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 I'm just saying like all the interesting ones, uh, like this figure here, Etta Candy. She first, uh, she's in this... SDCC cancelled set that was then put on Walmart and Lego Shop at Home. It's from 1984. Regardless of what you think of the movie, really cool uh, minifigure, I think. And we've got Steve Trevor with his little pilot hat. Should have had the hair, I think, since it's pictured there. And anyways, uh, we've got Vixen here, which is an SDCC exclusive, unfortunately, again from the CW. Got Cyborg, really awesome. Um, they don't show his first appearance here, which, again, I think Cyborg should have two spreads. Uh, but we do have the one from Justice League. Beast Boy is here as well. No mention of the uh, Teen Titans Go versions from Dimensions. I think that's interesting. Starfire, same with her. No mention, which means there's not going to be a Raven page, which is a real shame that we don't have her. Bone from the minifigure series. And then here we are into the villains. Will Clarion appear? Let's find out. We have the Trickster, who is a DVD exclusive. And then we've got Gorilla Grodd, um, which is awesome. Dark side, big figure as well. Only appearing in the one set. I think I gave myself a paper cut. We got Captain Cold. Flash villains there. We got Black Manta appearing in two sets only i believe and then we've also got doomsday from the mighty micro set again he's a superman villain same with bizarro should have been over on the other page we also have the mighty micro one this was an sdcc exclusive oh what i wouldn't give for that uh sinestro here we got the two versions there this is from the minifigure series and then the one that first came with hal jordan's green lantern and then we also have cheetah here from the minifigure series and then the uh, Wonder Woman 84, and then also the very first Cheetah minifigure that we ever got. And the Parademon has its own page with the yellow version there attacking Atlantis. Killer Frost is here as well as Maxwell Lord has his own page there. Uh, the, I'll say something in a second. And then Ocean Master. And that brings us to the end of the book, which uh, to quote this man, the book is good, but it could be better. Uh, anyways, you could pause to read that here. No mention of Clarion, no Clarion minifigure. I want to know where that came from. I'm dying to know now that the book is here. I have it in hand. Where was that from? Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, they had said that Clarion uh, was in like the book description online. So a lot of people had assumed that he was going to be the uh, the minifigure with this book. But he's not here. 
And they also talked about how there was a ton of other DC supervillains um, from this year or something. I forget what it was. You can check out the video. But they made reference to, like, there was going to be more. It is now almost June. And we do not have a single DC superhero sent besides the art that technically uh, launched on January 1st. And the Batman sets, which launched everywhere but North America on the first. We got them back in November. So we're still waiting. And last year with the fall... That's when we got the set. So hopefully, fingers crossed for the fall and all the movies that still have to come out this year. Hopefully, they were just delayed. We got to hope, right? But love to hear your thoughts. What do you think of the book? And uh, let me know if you saw any mistakes just pausing it and reading through it. And we've also got the Val Zod figure. Let me know what you think of that. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.